<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Prison Architect. My name is Weasel, and today it's time for another challenge. You guys had a fantastic idea at the end of our last one, which was the one big cell challenge, uh, or one big dormitory. So now we're going to sell this prison for $990,000, <clears> which is going to allow us to do, well, a very luxurious prison. Uh, the idea is that we're going to have to build its own. Every prisoner gets its own building, basically, its own house, more or less, and we're going to build somewhat of a prison city, something ridiculous like that. I don't know how big it's going to be, how long it's going to take, but I imagine it'll last very well. Um, it's going to be a smaller prison, but I wonder if we can be, um, if we can have a positive budget. Anyways, there's going to be some interesting ways to do this. Uh, we're going to be playing as, mm, let's go with the lobbyist. That sounds good. Half the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. That's uh, good stuff. Okay, we're going to go with staff needs, weather temperature, events, gangs, all the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's let's not go with lakes because they will block uh, the line. We're going to go with a small plot of land as per usual. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do a male prison this time. And, up oh, here here it is. Time, time for some planning. Okay, so everything gets its own building like a city. Uh, so the best way to do this, I feel, would be to build an outer parameter. Um, we could, I guess, do a parameter wall, but I'm just gonna go with a, a plain old boring brick wall around the whole goddamn prison. Um, let's do it like this, so it looks good. Okay, so as you can see, I already made some uh, plans here and there. Uh, this is going to be basically the main road that leads for our little, let's call it a village. That's going to be the plan. Outside here, we're going to use a fence to keep everything a little bit more safe. I could have built a parameter wall out here, but I felt, you know, brick wall makes more sense. Um, so this should keep uh, prisoners from escaping. What I will do is I'm going to have the delivery zone out here, um, but I do want eventually a little garbage room. I can already tell we're going to be running out of space so hard. No question about this. What happened here? Guys, who built this? <clears throat> The first building we're going to build is going to be the administration center, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to need a place for offices and all of that other uh, shindig. So we're going to be building this huge ass uh, building dealing with that. This is where we're going to put all of those uh, necessary rooms. We're definitely going to need some financial advisors so we can reduce our daily budget. Big problem. I learned that the other day. Thanks for that, guys. We don't have any prisoners uh, in yet, but our administration building is slowly but steadily getting ready. Uh, just waiting for the uh, uh, stuff to be laid down. So the plan was to build individual little houses for the prisoners. I still think we should have one canteen uh, and one kitchen rather than trying to put an individual kitchen into each house with a cook and canteen because that'll screw up all the pathfinding. Multiple canteens are a big nightmare. So that should still be like a communal thing, I think. So it's good for them anyway. So how we're going to do this. First, we're going to plan out the house as such. And I think row houses are probably a good idea. Maybe row homes, whatever you call those. Excellent. As you can see, we have built our first little house. Uh, it's time to decorate it. As you can see, what, what is that? Can we dump this place? This door is really confusing. Uh, we do have our own little uh, bathroom with marble tiles. We have a little window here because daylight in your bathroom is very important. A nice large window over here and another large window over here. This is going to be the living area slash a bedroom. I'm going to put them together. I don't think we need a separate bedroom. Uh, it's just going to take up, you know, unnecessary space. And I think you can still create... Okay, okay, okay. They get their own bedroom. Fine. As I was saying before you interrupted me so rudely, uh, we also have a little yard back here, uh, which is going to allow them to, well, relax and uh, calm down uh, after a long day of probably not doing a whole lot. We're going we're gonna to see if they do anything. So let's make the yard a little bit bigger now that we have this bedroom coming up over here. Um, this is all going to be one big cell, including, I think, the yard area. Um, I think this doesn't need to be designated as a yard, but yeah, let's uh, put a nice large, not a jail door, a large window in here in the bedroom, and we're going to need a door back to the yard, which obviously is going to have to have grass, I mean, a yard without grass, what's, what's that going to be? It's silly. And sadly, we can't have carpet in uh, the bedroom, I do personally like carpet. 
I guess we're just gonna also go with just, yeah, straight up uh, wooden floors. I mean, that's nice, hardwood. It's also really neat. Uh, the entrance area of the house should maybe be, how about mosaic floor? Looks a little bit nicer. Uh, there's a better separation here. What? That's, yeah, that's all good. Obviously, our prisoner is gonna need a nice big TV area. And I think we should have the TV uh, facing the wall. Yeah, this, this looks good. Nice area to sit back, watch some TV, have your friends over. In case our uh, prisoner is more into radio, we're also going to have a radio in here. And I think we should also provide a bookshelf for the bedroom. Sadly, there's no such thing as luxury beds. So we're just going to have to go with what we have here. And we're obviously going to need a radiator so it doesn't get too cold in here. Wouldn't want to get cold in these rooms, wouldn't we? And I do think we have created what could be called a house. I mean, electricity is still missing. I'm, I'm working on that. Bear with me for a second. But other than that, that, that looks like a nice place to spend, uh, you know, your prison sentence. <laughs> and lucky us, we can actually clone uh, huge ass areas. I mean, not, not all of it, obviously, as you can see. It just stops short of uh, cloning the back there. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, building it like that. What, what, what are you talking about can't be built? We're talking about blocked. Well, turns out you can just uh, designate the yard as a cell, which is a little bit annoying. So I guess it's going to be designated as its own yard, which probably means that people will go to each other's yard, which is fine. You know, they get to mingle a little bit, which also reminds me that there should be a bench in here. It just makes it all look a little bit nicer. Oh, yes, right. We're also going to need a canteen. As I mentioned earlier, the canteen is going to be more of a communal thing. Uh, we're going to add the kitchen over here as well. I think this is a pretty big room. This is going to be way bigger than we're going to need it to be, but might as well have some extra space for in the future. What what a beautiful sentence, for in the future. I, I do the language good. All right, it's time to... <laughs> it's time to bring in a single prisoner. How, how about that? And sure, we're gonna go with the maximum security prisoners because they're gonna pay us the most. We're gonna, I don't know how much you get per day for them, but you get a thousand just to get started. And I think we, we can have one prisoner in here. Current capacity is one. Anyway, we're gonna work on our canteen. And while we wait for our first prisoner to come in, who hopefully is not a legendary murderer, uh, I mean, he is maximum security, so we're gonna have to see. Uh, we're gonna unlock finances through bureaucracy. Hire ourselves an accountant, and now we should be able to spend all the money we want. We're gonna need some more workmen. Again, had to had to throw a few art, few out. Uh, also, we're gonna need guards. Two guards sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, I don't think I need to assign them to anything as of right now. Um, I don't know why these things keep being open. I guess because there's no prisoners in here right now, um, if anything. So we don't have a holding cell yet. I figure we can put a holding cell. Ah, excellent question. How big does that thing need to be? It needs to be a 5x5. Five five. I guess we can have a holding cell in the reception area right over here. Oh yeah, build a designated shower. I totally forgot about that. Turns out you can't build a yard like this because a yard needs to have a minimum size of a 5x5. Five five. So this is not working as a yard. This is just random area around. I mean, maybe... If we uh, create a yard, let's say, out of this, just like these forests over here, they, they, it will still need to be enclosed, right? I was hoping that for a second that would work out. Um, yeah, there's, there, there's not much we can do here. Um, maybe we can eventually expand this and figure out a way to do that. I have an idea how to pull that off, actually. How to make a nice big yard. Well, we're going to have to pretend that this is all one big yard together. Why, why does that fence looks so incredibly wrong. Anyway, we have completed our basic minimum requirement uh, for a prison, uh, to be considered a full prison, uh, with one little house so far. I just realized there's a luxury cell available. Let's see what's in a luxury cell. Oh right, an office desk. That's That makes a whole lot of sense. I totally forgot to give him their own office desk. That's That's not a problem at all. Just gotta make some iterations and then everything's fine. And it looks we have our first prisoner somewhere. It's actually a good question. Where is he? He must be in the holding cell because we were... Nope, never mind. He's here. He is Ed Coombe, sentenced to 12 years for grievously body harm. Hmm, you know, 
that's not too shabby. I mean, that's not the worst that could have happened. Um, we're definitely going to increase that one to another one. Another uh, maximum security prisoner. And for now, obviously, we're having a really horrible cash flow. There's, there's no way we're going to be making enough money. We're going to have to uh, ramp up the prisoner intake. But so far, this looks really nice. We got one continuous yard. It considers the individual yards of the people as yards uh, for everyone. So that's fine with me. Here we have a nice green lush area. I'm not too happy with it though, we're gonna need a gardener. About that, it's time to research all of this other stuff. Boy, it's a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna say the basic concept, yep, works out. Definitely works out. Okay, he's now going to get fed. Oh yeah, what's the, what's the time here? The timing, the regime. Free time, lock up. There's a lot of lock up time, which is fine with me actually. I mean, right now there's no work to be done. They might as well hang out in their own cell because this is a really nice cell. How about that? Um, do we have an intelligence? Nope. We still need to research intelligence because I'd like to get a grading for this. Also, why is this not being built? Why is, why is, why is this off? This looks off. Anyway, another thing we should do is we should have a CCTV room. Not that we have that research or are anywhere close to that, but it is something to consider. Same with a staff room. Um, I figure we could have just a small staff room in here. It might need to be bigger though. Uh, let's, let's, let's just set one up while we wait for another prisoner to arrive. And I think it's a good idea to have the staff room have an entrance from the outside so they don't have to walk through the whole building, even though they can, obviously, if they want to. Nobody's stopping them. And then, yes, the staff canteen. There was another thing. Right, right. We could build the staff canteen on this side of the fence or just flip this up and just designate the, nah we're gonna we're gonna build it on the other side of this let them not mingle together even though that does sound nice i mean we don't only need our prisoners to be happy we also need our staff to be happy i'm so glad we have so much money available to us we're gonna deal with the logistics of how we're gonna pay for everything later on how's he how's he feeling we don't have needs yet we need a psychologist for that right uh, while we do that we might as well Put some nice looks in here. Uh, how about some fancy tiles in the bathroom here? Actually, the bathroom, we're going to do regular tiles. We're just going to have fancy tiles throughout the building, in the hallways. And wide tiles in the kitch uh, kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen with the two toilets and the shower. What a kitchen. Best kitchen. Now, this does look a little bit more appropriate, doesn't it, now? Uh, we're going to need to put some nice stuff in the staff room. Yeah, this looks really neat, like a little little staff room here. Where's our prisoner, by the way? Like, does anyone have eyes on our prisoners? Oh yeah, right here he is. We can't really <laughs> see see what's going on. God, it's filthy. We need janitors. We haven't researched any of that. Uh, we're gonna get a chief, and we're gonna be researching all of this good stuff. Oh yeah, surveillance. This is gonna be needed. We're gonna need surveillance throughout the whole prison, because obviously we don't want to hire too many guards, but we still need to have a look at everything. We don't want to hire guards everywhere, because making this uh, basically a feasible business model is what we're trying to go for. I think that is the biggest challenge to have like a super fancy luxurious prison, yet still make some money with that. Also having them, having maximum security prisoners is probably uh, one of those things. Would you look at that, with 10 workers we're actually making money. How is that even possible? Oh, is that for the, the, the federal grant? For the prisoner we only get 150. I guess we're barely making, uh, you know, $97 a day. I'm, I'm gonna say that's good. I, I wanna say we made a lot of progress in this episode. This is uh, the first step. Uh, I'll be really curious to see how multiple uh, prisoners behave. And as soon as we have researched, I'd also like to get death row going. That'd be fantastic. Um, so far, nothing too challenging I've run into, given that I have all this money from my previous prison. Well, we're gonna see. If you have ideas how to make the prison more luxurious or what you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye!